And here's the deal, I love everybody. I've got massive passion. But my goal is very simple, for you to get out of here, have your best life possible, and go get paid what you're worth. Look, money doesn't make you happy, all right? Okay, but becoming the person you're supposed to be will make you more happy than you ever imagined. And then the money will come, okay? That's how this works. This isn't me teaching you something to come just blurt out, and then all of a sudden you get paid a lot. This is for you to start playing at the damn level you're supposed to be playing at. Yeah, yeah! Oh. And guess what? I, I, it took me forever for someone to show me what that freaking level looked like. I'm gonna tell you this. More, some people, and I was just talking to my man right here, right? He said, man, my guy, he made more money in one month being in the car business than he made last year at his old job. Dude, listen to me. Oh. quarter of a million dollars a year, wipe your ass with that. Listen to me, some of you, some of you, it may be your first time. And you're like, come on Andy, if I was making a quarter of a million, then I'd be all right. Look, let me tell you something, you know how your, how your thinking will change? Where's Jesse Cloud out? Jesse Cloud. Where's Cloud? Here's Jesse for one example, Jesse's from a small town. Jesse was taught to think small. Jesse's a good guy. Jesse reached out to me about a year and a half ago, right? Jesse was 19 years old, okay? He was going into the dealership and he was making two grand. Sound familiar as a new guy? You're making your draw? Yeah. You're trying to yeah. figure it out, right? You did a good job last month. Remember your first month in making your training pay, trying to figure out how things go, stuff like that, right? Guess what happened? Jesse came out, never even been on a damn airplane before, was tripping out like, I don't want to fly. I'm like, dude, what do you, what do you mean? What do you want to not do, fly or keep getting small checks? Jacqueline had to book the flight. Yeah, my wife had to book the flight for him to show, you how, show him how to get on an airplane. Here's my point. Listen, here's the deal. Jesse works for a dealership. Last month, he broke the 30-year record. What's your story? We write it now. I don't care about the old Jew. The old Jew's dead. I don't even care about it. You screwed up. You burned somebody. You messed up. Look, your haters are going to try to use your past to destroy the future they know you're going to have. They're going to give everything they can. I laugh at that shit. Doesn't even phase me. Jesse's GM told him, you train with this guy, I'm done. I can teach you everything you want to know. I can. Why have issues? How much did you make when you sold? Listen, Jesse went all in, and even though they told him, you're not going, Jesse has come to a master closer seminar every quarter for the last year and a half, sometimes every other month. Now, I want to say this. This is what it's about. Now he's making $25,000 a month, and he's 21 years old. Let's go! Guys, it's very simple. It's called battle tested. Battle tested. You got customers telling you no, can you get them to say yes? Can you do it and really unlock that person that's inside of you that can play at that next level? I'm unlocking that person. Study everybody around you. The reason why we get together tonight is because I want you to meet everybody. The world is your library. If you know what you're looking for, it'll give you what you're looking for. Guys, we're all around like-minded people that want to get the same thing. They want to get paid what they're worth. They want to become the best. They want to master their craft. They want to figure out social media, marketing, closing, negotiation, skill, right? Dude, life is short. I take care of my family. If I was to die today, you know how much money I would need to take care of my family? How much money do you need to take care of yours? Do you have that money? Money is a freaking tool to make you more money. Broke people spend money. Wealthy people use money. Never forget that, which means if you're not wealthy, you decide to use your money from this point forward to study every single person in the world so you never can get beat again and you can dominate. It's never been easier, never been easier to win. Everybody's so soft right now. They're so freaking weak. The skill is at the lowest level it's ever been. So, if you go all in on yourself, 
If you really come in here to recreate yourself, truly, everybody's gonna tell you it's okay, you've done enough, you're doing all right. <laughs> Screw that, stay starving. Never get an entitlement. The first thing that he came in, he said, Andy, I'm making 25 grand, and guess what? I don't give a shit. It means nothing to me. I'm going for the champion spot. I wanna be able to take the three second game winning shots every damn time and make them. I'm gonna come here until I die, and I'm gonna tell you this. He stayed in the program when everybody told him. Whenever he made his first 20 grand selling, his GM says, you're not going to another training. We can't afford you to have you out of the store. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah, store. <laughs> Listen, he left that store. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, watch. I'm not telling you to leave your store. Wipe the dust off your feet and roll on. His GM and his new store, that we use our whole platform. Their guys are killing it, they love him to death. And his GM calls me every time and he says, break my guy to pieces. Send him back home, re yep. recreate his ass this weekend. And I wanna tell you something, and this is what's most important, I want you to think about this. You, ain't think, you, don't, you haven't thought I've been in your damn shoes? Are you kidding me? Do listen, when I got myself to making 400 grand, okay? When I got myself to making that 400 grand selling cars, there was this little thing that was called sense of entitlement started to creep on me one day. And I looked in the mirror and I almost wanted to throw up. That wasn't the way I was raised. I am a fighter. I'm a fighter every day of my damn life. I don't care how much money you earn, there's more of you to keep going. There's a, another level of you that you haven't hit. The GM's like, dude, the top guy around you just made 100 grand. You made 400, man. Just back off. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I am obsessed with being the best. Who else is with me? 